Teaching Salsa Dancing Using 21st Century Skills The Direct Instruction Approach Traditionally, we had students watch the final product. They saw what the final dance was going to look like, and we expected them to replicate that dance. For the first week or so, the teacher demonstrates each individual dance step, and it has the class follow along. Resources provided for the students were handouts on the dance steps themselves, uh, informational sheets on the information the students needed to know for the final test, and a rubric for the presentation. This year we tried the flipped classroom approach where the teacher provided online resources for the students to access at home. Uh, this allowed for the teacher to give more feedback to the students in class practicing the dance steps and allowing for this teacher to have less time spent on teaching the steps in class. Online resources. Some of the online resources the teacher provided for students at home would be YouTube videos. Here in the top left you can see a YouTube tutorial video the teacher made. On the bottom left is a tutorial video found on YouTube by professional dancers. And on the right side are some links for some resources so the students could find additional information on what is expected of them for the dance presentation. For the practical assessment, the students are to create, perform, and record a dance. That dance will be uploaded to YouTube and a link will be sent to the student's personal web page. Here they can review the dance and fill out a Google form assessing their dance performance. If they're, not, if they're not happy with their dance performance, they can go ahead and redo their performance for a better grade. Their self-assessment looks like this. They'll pull up their YouTube video on a half screen, and on the other half of the screen, they'll have a Google form. They complete the Google form, and they submit it for a grade. For their informational summative assessment test, they were not going to be using papers, instead they'll be using the Google form. Uh, it'll be taken online, and this will allow for them to have instant feedback. Here's an example of that summative assessment. On the left is the actual test on the online form. On the right side is a script through Google that actually grades the summative assessment. This saves me a lot of time for grading all these papers, and it gives the students uh, more uh, immediate feedback on how they did on their test. So the conversion from the traditional class of sitting down in the gym, writing on a piece of paper on the floor with a pencil, is now converted to behind a computer accessing online resources to broaden the knowledge base of uh, salsa dancing for both the student and myself.